Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five favorite nude lipsticks for brown and deeper skin tones. So let's get started. So my first pick is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Ruffle Trim. Now the NYX Ruffle Trim Liquid Lipstick is a beautiful cinnamon pink color. It's actually a very good quality liquid lipstick for a drugstore product. It is a little bit more drying than other higher end liquid lipsticks that I've tried, but nevertheless the color is beautiful. It does last a relatively long time compared to other drugstore liquid lipsticks that I've tried out and it's very comfortable on the mat, on the lips as well. If you do have a darker complexion than I do, I would recommend using this with a brown lip liner just to make it a little bit more wearable, but it, it just goes with any outfit and any makeup look and I, I absolutely love it. Next up we've got the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the colour Stylist. Now you guys see me, see me use this before in my 5-minute um, Gym Fresh Face Makeup. It's a beautiful dusty rose color and it's very, very comfortable on the lips. So as you can see, um, the Smashbox Stylist lipstick is a little bit more pink than Ruffle Trim and because it's more of a traditional lipstick and not a liquid lipstick, it is a little bit more comfortable to wear and at the same time, it's not as long lasting as you would obviously know with you know, comparing it to liquid lipsticks. But nevertheless, this is a beautiful color. And if you're into like that baby doll pink lip color, I think this does really well. And it goes really nicely with any look. I think most of the nudes that I picked out today are very versatile and they go with most looks that, you know, you want to do. All right, next up, I've got one of my another faves. They're all my faves, but I particularly like this one. This is the Tidiest Lip Paint in the shade TBT. There's kids screaming outside. Um, this is such a beautiful mauve pink color, and it's very comfortable on the lips. It's more of like a moussey texture, and um, again, it feels like, you know that waiting period when you wait for your liquid lipstick to dry? It's like this never passes that period, like it's always just waiting to dry. It's kind of interesting when you like first get used to wearing this type of um, liquid lipstick. As you can see, this liquid lipstick is very pigmented. It can get a little bit patchy once you've worn it for a couple of hours, so you do have to touch up, I would say, more frequently than your traditional very drying matte liquid lipsticks but this is a very lightweight liquid lipstick and I feel like I should have a liquid lipstick counter up in the corner because I feel like I'm going to say it like 10 million times but it's very comfortable it's more comfortable than the Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick and um, it's got like a I don't know I feel like it's got like cinnamon or something in it I feel like my lips tingle a little bit and I really like it. I like the smell of it too Okay, next up we've got the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. Huda Beauty Liquid Lipsticks are my absolute fave. If you're going to get a liquid lipstick, you want it to last long and you want it to be comfortable and not feel like your lips are shriveling up, this is the one to go for any of the shades. They're all the same. Haven't tried all of them. Tried two, but they're both very similar. I'm just going to let that dry. It takes about like 15 to 30 seconds to dry. And I'm using like a post waxing wipe to dry my lips. FYI. So that's, yeah, I think that's pretty dry. So that's what it looks like when it's dried. So yeah, like I said, this is a true like 90s brown color so beautiful and more than anything for me pigment is important obviously you want your color to show up and show well and not be patchy but for a liquid lipstick I want it to be comfortable I don't want it to flake and sort of crumble as I'm going throughout my day or talking to people like it's just like I, I've had that experience before and I I don't want to call out any liquid lipstick but I've there's been a few brands that I've tried that are just so flaky and 
crumble in. It just looks really gross when it like collects in the corner of, of your mouth. Okay, so the next liquid lipstick is also by Huda Beauty and this is in the color Icon. Now Icon is like a terracotta, terracotta color. It's more orangey brown than the pinky sort of nudes. Um, this is one of my absolute faves. This is like my OG liquid lipstick, like the, the one I first got and I was like, damn, damn Gina. Okay, this is like very similar to um, trends that are in terms of like um, the formula and everything. It smells the same. I think it tastes the same. It doesn't really taste like anything. And it takes 15 to 30 seconds to dry. The problem I had with this color, when I first got it, I had black hair. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I um, had some like highlights and foils through my hair with a little bit of a brownie sort of color and um, after I had that done it didn't look as good like it felt like my whole head and face looked a bit too orange so then I went and got the trendsetter which was like that brown color and that went much well with my hair color so keep that in mind when you're buying liquid lipsticks especially nude colors what hair color do you have hair dye you straight black if you've got black then you're pretty safe you can wear pretty much any color but if you've got like blonde or brown or orange streaks going through your hair maybe like a terracotta color won't be as flattering on your face or your skin tone but you know at the end of the day if it makes you happy and you feeling yourself just do it do whatever you want i wear whatever i want whenever i want Alrighty guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful and there's some colors that you're thinking about buying and just solidified your thoughts of buying it and you're going to go to Sephora and get it, do it, I encourage it. <laughs> um, if you like this video and you found it informative and helpful, then give it a thumbs up and you know subscribe to my channel if you want to so you can see more videos like this from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Peace out.